Hey guys, I'm starting out today with some Ranger Texture Paste applied through a homemade honeycomb stencil. And um, this page is created from um, a challenge from a website that um, is hosting some workshops. And before the workshop started, um, they posted like a challenge that, you know, to get everyone hyped up and everything. And um, this page is directly inspired by that challenge. And the website is called All and Create, and I'll link it in the description box below. And as I'm recording this now, the workshop has started and it's amazing. They have art journaling and mixed media workshops and, um, layouts, scrapbook layouts and cards and mini albums. And I'm fortunate enough to take all three and there's a lot of inspiration there. So I encourage you to check it out if um, you might need a little extra inspiration or if you just like taking online classes. So I have some stamps here or stamps, uh, tags from Seven Dot Studio and Part of the challenge um, tutorial that was posted had these two tags linked together with a string on the page. So I wanted to mirror that element. So I'm just linking my tags together with a piece of natural hemp twine. And then I'm just gonna glue that down on my page so that they're together. And then I can tie like a little, um, a little bow to keep them together. And then the extra piece of um, tag that I have, um, the end piece that I cut off of the tag on the left, um, I'm just gonna create a tag shape out of that because it's just a square at this point and then pop it in the upper right hand corner. And while we're talking about workshops, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but I am participating in a workshop or teaching a project in a workshop with five other mixed media artists and it's called the Very Merry Mixed Media Workshop and it's all these um, holiday or Christmas home decor pieces that we're teaching and it's a pretty cool class. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out and you can see who the other artists are and stuff and if you are thinking about taking part I encourage you to take part as soon as possible because we have a Facebook group and there are giveaways and stuff going on right now because the class already went live and um, the sooner you get in, the better chance you have of taking part in the giveaways and win winning some prizes and stuff. And some, some of the other artists are giving away some of their art, which is really cool. And there's also bonus lessons and stuff going on. So I would love it if you check that out. So now I have some Tim Holtz flower garden stamps and I'm just stamping that on some regular cardstock with some black archival ink and, um, I wasn't sure which floral stamp I wanted to use or really, I didn't really have a plan for my page, I should say. So I did stamp a couple different flowers, but in the end I went with the, the ones you see here. Now I have some pomegranate um, silks acrylic glaze and some Neo Color 2 watercolor crayon in salmon pink. And I'm just coloring these flowers in a really sketchy kind of way. I want it to be not precise, really loose and really sketchy. In retrospect, I probably should have stamped my flowers on a heavier weight cardstock because when I added all the water, um, it, it just kind of, if you've ever added water to um, a thin cardstock, you'll know what I'm talking about. It just gets kind of like yucky, you know? So, um, but in the end, you can't really tell that um, it doesn't look as good as it could if it were stamped on better cardstock, but. So I'm just going to do a couple layers, go back in with my Neo Color 2 and then um, the pomegranate acrylic glaze until I'm happy with the coverage. Now I have some pretty Peridot silks acrylic glaze for the stem. And I'm also coloring that in a very sketchy way. And then I cut them out and now I'm just going over the lines with a jelly roll, a black jelly roll pen. And I'm following the lines of the stamp, but I'm making it really sketchy, like with um, really loose, sketchy lines. And I'm doing the same on this stem as well. Now I'm taking my new color two in salmon pink and my watercolor paintbrush and just um, 
scribbling a little color on around, trying to concentrate the color around my tag and spraying some water to kind of feather it out and make it look really blended into the background. And then I'm also going to add some gray from a Neo Color 2 um, crayon. I think that one's just called gray, um, but it'll be linked in the description box below. And I'm just going back and forth with the colors until I'm happy with the saturation and the blend. These are some chipboard letters that I got from the dollar spot at Target. And it was like a pack. They had white um, letters and then they had like gold glitter letters and they had like a small and a large set. And these are the large set. I'm not sure if you can get them anymore. I did get them like around... Um, November like they were in like the harvest section with like the pumpkins and stuff like that So I'm coloring it with some pomegranate seed dilutions paint and um, The letters are kind of glossy. So it did take a couple coats to get a nice coverage I think it was about three coats it took to get nice coverage now I have um, a B stamp from Prima and um, it comes as like the body and the wings and you have to set, stamp them separately. And I'm just gonna cut him out. And I don't show this, but I also stamped him on a piece of tissue paper because um, I wasn't sure where he was gonna go or what I wanted to do. So just so I had the option, I also stamped him on tissue paper. And the reason I left the cutting is, is so I could show you after I cut it out um, so that you can't see like the white lines around the edges. I go around my stamp with a black Copic marker. And there in the upper right, you can see where I stamped the B on tissue paper. Now I'm just messing around with the arrangement of my elements. And this honestly takes me the longest of anything. I'm really indecisive when it comes to placement and especially like clusters of elements. So I mess around with it for quite a while. And this is some Blazing Black Lindy Stamp Gang Flat Fabio. And the Flat Fabio Lindy Stamp Gang just means that it doesn't have any sparkle. The Starburst sprays have sparkle and the Flat Fabios don't. And I'm just applying that with a fan brush to get some really fine splatters. Now that I'm happy with the uh, arrangement of my elements, I'm just gonna glue them down with some clear tacky glue. This page is part of my um, endeavor to art journal every day in the month of November. I know we're in December now, but I did manage to do 30 pages in November. I did a page every single day, but the problem now is getting them all edited and uploaded because I did film them all. And this is actually day 15, so we're quite a bit behind. And if you're following along and you um, from my Instagram where I posted all the pictures daily of what my um, pages were, you might notice that they're a little out of order. Um, and also there's some missing because I do have a Patreon that um, I use some of the pages as a Patreon reward for my patrons. So that's exclusively on Patreon. So if you are interested in seeing some of the pages that you might not see here, you can go over and check my Patreon, which is also linked below in the places to find me section in the description box. I just added some journaling under the time and their time word and then um, added my date stamp. And that's it for this page. I hope you check out my links and I hope you like, like this page. If you have any questions, please let me know and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye guys.